Hey guys, it's Happy Kitty here. So, I'm doing a video today on how to brush a cat. This is mostly actually just how I brush my cat because you may do it differently. But, this is how I do it. So, I'm going to move my camera back and then I go to Delilah. Yes, I'm back with the cat video. No, I know what you're thinking. Well, if I'm brushing a cat, don't I need a brush like this? And then, no, this is not what you're gonna use to brush a cat with. You do not use a hair brush. You use a cat brush, which I have this one. And you're gonna move closer to the cat. You're gonna gently go across your cat's fur. So you're not gonna go hard or anything. Go gently. Nope, my cat's very curious. She likes to smell it. And I brush her usually in the springtime because that's when the allergies get worse. And in Canada, it's sort of during the spring, so I'm just gonna put the camera down. See fuzzy little bellies. This is working. And if your cat decides to lay down, you just Go very gentle though in the stomach area because that's where the cat might be a little more sensitive if you're using a cat brush. That's where your cat might be just a little more sensitive. And you just brush her for a bit. You just brush him or her actually because you might have a boy cat. Delilah's a girl though. You just brush the kitty kitty. And my cat likes the brush to be honest. I go gentle though. Your cat may not like it. Delilah loves this thing, so. I don't do it very often. Plus, I kind of have an allergy to cats. Like, I get the sniffles sometimes. So, this helps so she doesn't shed. Plus, this is being filmed in my room, and those pillows over there. My cat loves coming in here, even in the winter time, and just sleeping on the pillows. She usually only comes in the winter though, because seriously, my room doesn't have windows. Sorry about that. It's a really old room, and it's the middle room in the house, and a long time ago, they didn't need to have windows. So I don't have She is trying to bite the iPad case. Trust me, it's really annoying when you have a cat who just wants to put her mouth on everything. It's like a little baby, everything she's standing. Cat, don't move. Gotta get the other side of her, so it's gonna be a hard. And I'm almost done. She got a little more progression. Please move. Oh, okay. You're gonna, you're gonna roll again. That's that's a good thing. This is gonna be the tum tum. And seriously, this is like one of the easiest things ever. If you go easy on the cat, I find they'll like it more. We just bought this cat brush last year, actually, and because. My mom didn't really like how the cat shed so much. So she wanted to get something to kind of make it so the cat sheds a little less in the system brush. You can't really see hair. And I've used this, I've had way worse problems. Like, there was such a big layer of hair on the cat brush. It was just I'm doing this with my left hand. I've done it with my right hand, but my right hand's a little wonky. I actually write with my left hand. So, yeah. So, 
is easier with my left hand because it's my writing hand. So, and the only reason I'm filming this in the afternoon is I know what you're thinking. I should be at school because I go to I still go to school, but it's actually March break now, so I got a week off of no school. So that's really fun. My teacher's been giving us a lot of homework, and I've had some of the homework, but most of it I finished in class. But even though it's homework, it's really tough and it's really annoying because they make you do it at home when you're not supposed to be at school. Brush those leopard spots. And there we go, she's done. So that's how you brush a cat. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Now she's gonna start pet your tum tum a little. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.